Hi students, welcome back to module nine of our caregiver course. I'll go ahead and share my screen with you. In this module, we'll be talking about infection control. So it's important for us to understand what personal protective equipment is and what it can do for us. Our hand washing, remember, is our first line of defense and first uh, part of our standard precautions. Standard precautions include hand washing and then choosing the appropriate personal protective equipment. We call that PPE in order to safely do a job. So just to review, gloves are used when there is a potential for us to come in contact with blood, body fluids, contaminants, or non-intact skin. They prevent illness and the spread of infection. A mask will protect our nose and our mouth from splatters, contaminants, and some airborne particles. A face shield with eye protection is helpful to protect our eyes, our mucous membranes, eyes, nose, and mouth from body fluids. And then a gown will protect your clothing. Again, standard precautions is washing hands and wearing the appropriate PPE. Now in this first video, we're gonna learn how to remove gloves safely. Everybody knows how to put gloves on. This video shows gloves being put on over a surgical gown, but it's the way that we take them off because there's a clean side of the glove, it's the side that's touching our skin, and the dirty side of the glove, and we don't want to mix those two. So we'll watch this first video on glove. Basically, it's for glove removal. In this video, I want to demonstrate how to don and doff gloves whenever wearing PPE. First, perform hand hygiene, then don gloves by pulling each glove over the hand and extending the cuff of the gloves over the sleeves of the gown. Next, remove the gloves. Do not touch the outside of the gloves because they are considered contaminated. To remove the gloves, start by taking your non-dominant gloved hand to grab the other glove around the cuff in the wrist area. Do this by using a pinching motion to grab it. Peel this glove off by turning it inside out and wad it into a ball with your gloved hand. Keep it securely in your gloved hand. Then take the index finger of the ungloved hand and slide it carefully under the cuff of the gloved hand and peel the glove off the hand by pushing the index finger forward against the glove. This will turn the glove inside out. Dispose of the gloves. Okay. So that's glove donning and doffing, is that's what they call it when you're taking them, putting them on and taking them off, donning and doffing. And now we'll watch how to properly put a mask on and take one off. Sam's patient has an upper respiratory infection. Sam knows what to do. Sam puts on a mask and enters the room. Um, Sam? Sam performs hand hygiene. Sam secures her mask either with ties or by placing elastic ear loops around her ears. 
she fits the flexible band to her nose bridge, making sure it is snug to her face and below her chin. Sam knows her front of her mask is contaminated. Sam performs hand hygiene. Instead of touching the mask, she grasps the ties or elastics of the mask, carefully removing the mask without touching the front. Sam discards the mask in the waste container. Sam performs hand hygiene. Great job, Sam. All right, interestingly, they said, if you caught it, that the front of Sam's mask is contaminated. So I really want you to consider if you still have your masks from 2020, 2021, hanging from your rear view mirror of your car or from your blinker, please throw those masks away, okay? We don't want that stuff recirculating around us. When we're working with people in the home, we're generating what's called healthcare waste, and there's a proper way to dispose of healthcare waste. This is a Canadian video, but the concept is still very applicable to us. As a caregiver, an important part of your role is to make sure any medical waste in the home of the person you're caring for is safely disposed of. If healthcare waste is not dealt with properly, it can be hazardous to you and anyone else who may come into contact with it after disposal. In this video, we'll teach you how to identify home healthcare waste, identify biohazardous waste, and safely dispose of both to minimize any possible health risks. So what exactly is healthcare waste? Basically, it's any waste that is produced during the physical care of the person you're caring for. This includes disposable gloves, soiled dressings, and incontinence products. For a complete list, take a look at our care guide. To safely dispose of these items at home, double bag them and make sure both bags are tightly closed with a knot or a twist tie. Never put any home healthcare waste in the recycling bin. These items are not recyclable. Certain types of medical waste are considered to be biohazardous and pose a greater risk of injury and infection than regular home healthcare waste. Biohazardous home healthcare waste includes human blood and sharps. Sharps are any item with sharp or pointed edges that can puncture the skin, like needles, syringes, injectors, injection pens, and lancets. Never put any of these items in regular garbage, recycle, or organic bins, and don't flush sharps down the toilet. Always place discarded sharps and human blood waste in an approved biohazard container for safe disposal. You can also get approved containers and disposal advice from your local pharmacist. All approved containers must be labeled with the universal biohazard symbol. Your province or region may offer programs to help you dispose of biohazardous waste like sharps. Programs like the Ontario Sharps Return Program is one such example that provides a safe and easy way to dispose of any sharps you may have in your home. To learn more about sharps and where you can dispose of them, take a look at our care guide. Proper disposal of home healthcare waste is key for keeping both you and the person you're caring for safe. While this video is a good starting point for- All right. There are places um, that you can take expired or unused medications. They don't go into the trash. We definitely don't flush them down the toilet. So unused medications can go if you're close to a Vons grocery store, if they have a pharmacy, the pharmacies will have green lock boxes where you can dispose of medications. Uh, the Poway Sheriff's Office has a lock box for medications. There is a Poway Sharps management drop-off, which is up on Scripps Poway. If you are a member of Kaiser, you can purchase a Sharps container for about $5, I think. And then once it's full, you just bring it back into Kaiser. But you want to check with the insurance company, with the doctor, with the pharmacy. Like a lot of people don't know where 
Sharps containers come from. And then once they're full, where they go. So it's important for you to know, you know, the pharmacist is a good place to start. Your insurance company is a good place to start. Your doctor's office may or may not know where to take a, a, a full Sharps container. But that just makes sure that everybody stays safe and that we're disposing of things in the right way. So that concludes our module nine. Come on back and we'll start our second group of modules. So in our next session, we have module 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So that's where we're gonna discuss home safety, fall prevention, getting someone up from the floor, equipment found in the home, using correct body mechanics, helping someone with transfers, and then getting into the modules that cover self-care, the grooming, the hygiene, brushing teeth and getting dressed. So we'll see you all in our next module, which is emergency preparedness. Thanks.